Good evening and welcome to We the People. When India's Army Chief General V.K. Singh took the battle over his age, what exactly is his age, to the Supreme Court, many thought it was an unprecedented disaster for the relations between the military and the civilian administration. The general said this was not a matter of prestige but a matter of honor. It was a case that Either way, no matter which way it ended, would have an abiding impact on the relations between the army and the civil administration. The image of the army, as well as the general perception among many people, the General VK Singh had got confused between a personal battle and an institutional battle. The observations were that, that there were at least two previous instances where General Singh had accepted uh, another date of his date of birth. Now, he has argued that there was kind of pressure on him to do that. And uh, that's the point that's the point. First, that may I just making. say one more thing? That he never agreed to this. This is a, you know, it's, his case was never allowed to come up in, in, in the Supreme Court. No, I'm uh, saying in never, writing he did accept it. He has not accepted it. He may have accepted it for you the wrong reasons. The, you have uh, to see the correspondence before and the correspondence after to really arrive okay. at what was said. Uh, does anyone uh, want to quickly uh, clarify that and yes. then I'll take that to Nathan? Uh, yeah, I quickly. would just say that it won't be fair to say Supreme Court has ducked the issue. Yeah. Their matter has been discussed extensively for full two days, third and tenth. And thereafter, the Supreme Court gave an option to General V.K. Singh. He says you want a judgment yeah. or you get instructions. That was a very, very clear signal that the matter was going against him and Supreme Court would have given. Yeah. But for his position and rank and the regard for the armed forces, the it Supreme could have Court gone did way. what it did. Okay, Nitin, uh, so, so, give me a second, Nitin, yeah. You know, what I find amusing about the public debate in general, and in this one in particular, because we are here, is that here is an issue of national security. And we're discussing matters of a general's honor, a person's honor, and, and a court precedent and whether it, an appellate yeah. court could do this or not. What is the national security implication is here? Is there one from this case? And the because Manish is, is arguing you're making one. too much in reading the, the, that. There is thing. one. The, the, the simple question here is that are we, in the 21st century, when we are looking at a modern strategic environment, are we okay with a situation where we decide that the chief of army staff must be the senior most lieutenant general available? I mean, it's not uh, in, 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 yeah. in law, it's, it could be anybody. But in practice, as a, as, a, as a norm, it is the senior most person. And this runs down the army hierarchy up to the brigadier level and even below. Yeah. Now, are we in a situation to say that, oh, you know, what's the difference between a, um, uh, in experience and seniority between a person who's 57 years old and 56 years old You're in six saying months? the very fact that age is the driver. For age the is the driver. And what this issue with. has shown is yeah. that the principle of seniority can be manipulated. That's precisely the point. You and know. as we know that there are hundreds of uh, thousands of officers whose uh, birthdays are not clear, yeah. that means we are looking at thousands so of officers. So the larger picture is to actually relook at why this is such a basis for the driver of change. One minute quickly, then I'm going to no, get into yeah. Which is what I was saying, the Supreme Court does the issue because you have to reconcile the, 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 the lack of documentation in the army and the, go the government of India, Minister of Defence, has completely ignored that process. You're watching We the People. The Supreme Court has handled the age row controversy when it comes to General V.K. Singh. But in this segment, we're looking ahead. What are the larger implications, if any, for the Indian Army, for the Indian military? A point has been raised by Nitin Pai that it highlights the absurdity of having age being the key driver for what should be perhaps one of the most critical security positions in the let's, country. Let's, let's park that thought. Nitin, what's the larger question that no, emerges? It's, it's, it's back to this thing. You know, yeah. we are trying to establish dates of birth of a generation of people who clearly didn't have clear dates of birth. These records were not very clear. Yeah. We don't even know that the, 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 if, if at all the two dates are actually accurate, there might be a third date which is more accurate. Yeah. Why are we wasting, no, 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 we are, we are wasting no, no. our time and energy no, trying the, the to, split hairs, one trying one to one identify one. when is it that uh, this General V.K. Singh was born? You know, if, if you do this You're for cricket... You're saying that's not the point. Yeah, let's imagine we do You're this for cricket. You're saying that's not the point. Yeah, let's no, imagine we do this for cricket. No, no, no. Let's imagine, like that, let's imagine we do this for... I'm telling you one thing. I'm not going into the rules and regulations and all that. But one thing is very, very clear, as clear as you are sitting here, that his date of birth is 51. It is there in the records of military hospital. It is there. His father was a lieutenant colonel. Okay. And okay, one minute. I've got to come in here. I've got to come in here. Okay, okay, I've got to come in here. I've got to come in here. Yes, we have to look ahead. I just want to finish this We have to look ahead. We have to look ahead. Yes, quickly, and then Mr. You know, Rao. Imagine we do this in cricket. Do we select, you know, are we worried about Sachin Tendulkar's birth date? You know, we had this 
uh, yeah. business of we select our cricket captain, captain yeah. based on his birthday. Yeah. We would spend a lot of time analyzing when was he born, where was he born, whether yeah. records were correct, instead of trying to find who's the best guy to be the captain. I think it's well past the time to take out the Cargill Commission's report, yeah. which, was which was published more yeah. than 10 years ago, update it and implement it quickly. Yeah. This is not the time to discuss age and honor and all these kind of things, which are totally irrelevant from the national security point of view. Manish? No, Barkha, let me 